Hello. I was asked a question today about how I can compile a program in Visual Basic Express and also how I can make my program be able to use an icon and launch from a shortcut. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial and show those things right now. Now this is being shown using Visual Basic Express 2010. If I go up to the Tools menu and go to Settings, I'm going to choose Expert Settings. And now you see that I've got an additional menu option that I didn't have before, and that's the Build menu. Before I actually go in and build my project, which is where I can make an executable file, I need to change some of the project properties first. So I'm going to go to Project and the Project Properties. And we can change the assembly name. That's the name that would be on the executable file. I'm just going to leave it as the default. And here we can also set what icon we would use for our application. If you don't select one, you'll get a default icon, but I'd like to choose my own. So I'm going to go here where I know I have a custom icon I've created. And now my project is set to use that. I'm also going to need to go down to the Publish tab. And I want to make a few changes here. Actually, I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just going to review some things here. I want to make sure that the icon is automatically included and it's a required file. I'll click on OK. For prerequisites, I'm going to ensure that the .NET Framework 4 will be installed with this application. And you can see that if you were using a database, you could also include SQL Server Express as part of the installation. Windows Installer 3.1 is also a dependency here that it will go ahead and install. And you can see that uh, we're going to download these prerequisites from the vendor's website, so it's going to come from Microsoft. I'm going to click on OK here. If you wanted your program to update itself periodically, you could go here and you could check this box that it should check for updates. And you can set some information here about when it should update. And also you would give a location uh, for how it should update itself. I'm not going to do that in this case, so I'll just press cancel. And here we have options included, uh, which we can put in our name and I'm going to put in a product name we have a few other options here as well you could uh, automatically set this to be installed from a CD which means that when you inserted the CD into the computer it would automatically start the setup files. There's a few additional options here that we could uh, use including creating a desktop shortcut which I'll select here and if you had any file associations you could click that here. So I'm going to click OK. When we publish, we have an inversion number that is created. And each time I was to republish, it would increment the version number as well. If you've never done anything with publishing before, I suggest you use the Publish Wizard. And it's going to indicate um, that normally it will publish this application to a publish subdirectory of the current project or you can browse to put this elsewhere uh, I'm gonna put this in the folder that I had called say hello and I'm gonna go ahead and click next I'm going to choose this last option so that I could copy this if I wanted to uh, a DVD or a CD or a flash drive for that matter and go and install it elsewhere I'm not going to check for updates and it's now 
telling me where this is going to be published to. I'm going to go ahead and press finish and it's going to give me some feedback down the bottom and it says the publish succeeded and this is the folder that I've published to. Now you can see that I've got a setup exe file and I've got the icon which I had just saved there from before. I won't really um, need to uh, worry about that at this point. There's also uh, some additional files. This is the manifest file and there is a folder with some other application files that are required. So if you want to run this now on another computer you're going to need the setup file and you're going to need um, the manifest and you're going to need the application files. So those items would have to be copied to whatever computer it is that you want to install it on and then it's just a matter of double clicking on the setup and going from there. So let's go and install this. I'm going to double click on my exe file and a couple of things happened really quickly. It launched the setup. I already had the required files with the .NET framework already installed. It was very quick. This is a small application so it put the icon on the desktop and I'll just minimize this so you can see. There it is. And it also launched the executable file and if you go into my start menu here you'll see that it also put that my application in the start menu. So I can go ahead and use it and this little program doesn't do much does it? Just says hello. I can close that. I can launch it from the icon on the desktop or I can go into start menu and launch it from there. Now I'm going to go back into Visual Basic Express and of course another way to build an executable file is to go to the build menu and I could just choose to build the project or I could also go up here and publish it and that publish gives me the publish wizard that you saw before. Now if you went ahead and did the publish without setting the options that we set together at the beginning of this tutorial in the properties window then you're going to get some default behaviors. You're not going to get a shortcut, you're not going to get an icon, uh, you're not going to get prompted necessarily for where the application is going to be uh, published to, um, but you could uh, go and pick it up in the default publish directory for the application and then get the executable. Now it also may not run properly on another computer because it wouldn't necessarily have the .NET framework on every single computer. Most Windows computers would have the .NET framework but depending on the type of uh, operating system you might not have the right version. So I suggest that instead of just doing the basic publish and I'll close this since we've already seen the screen. Uh, you might want to go ahead and customize it by going to the pub project properties first. If you know you're going to be taking this application to another computer that has all the prerequisites installed and all you want to do is run the executable, then it's just a matter of building, going into the appropriate subdirectory uh, and copying the executable file and running it on the computer that is your target computer. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and we'll say so long until next time.